In this video, we're going to be opening up another coffin. A box, but should, should have said box a lot quicker. Coffin, coffin box. This is the Rue Morgue coffin box exclusively from Horror Pack. Contained inside this black box of darkness and despair, you get yourself a Rue Morgue magazine and you also get yourself a DVD and some other goodies there as well. I'll put the link down below. Yes, Horror Pack does sound familiar to you, probably, because Horror Pack is also the subscription service where every single month you get a selection of four, four title selection of horror Blu-rays and or DVDs delivered right to your house. It's that same horror pack. Also does the Rue Morgue Coffin Box. I believe this is the Coffin Box for September 2018. Could very well be October 2018. But we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. Sorry, what? It's already been opened up. Uh, actually, it comes inside a white mailer bag. So just in case you think somebody has already delved deep into my box. That doesn't sound right. Um, no, it don't don't worry. It can, comes inside of a white mailer bag. So as for the Rue Morgue issue, this is the 21st anniversary Halloween issue. You have Night of the Living Dead, The Final Word, with John Landis, Joe Dante, Kent Foray, and Daniel Cross, plus Judith Oderer and Patricia Tallman, The People versus John A. Russo, Georgia Romero's post humorous post humus Living Dead book. What else do we have in here? The Witch's Dungeon Classic Movie Museum, An Assassination Nation, America Gets Violent, and also Horror Games Hall of Fame. Uh, this is dated for September and August 2018. And let's just do a quick flip through. Now here's the advertised Halloween. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I have not yet to see Halloween, the new 2018 Halloween. If you've seen it, let me know down below what you guys thought of it. Just as good as the other ones? One of the better ones? Let me know. One of the uh, one of the joys, and one of the certainly one of the joys is having a child. But one of the things as well with having a child is oh look at this little teeth man. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Uh, one of the things about having a child is of course it uh, it consumes a lot of your time. So I mean that's also a good thing, and it's a thing in which seeing movies can always be a little bit more trickier. I can see a lot of movies around the house, but going out to the movies gotta make that gotta make that time. Uh, so what we got here, we got Genesis of the Living Dead, Aim for the Head, Generation Die, 40 Classic Monster Man. Uh, I guess those are the page numbers and not 40 Classic Monster Men. Page 40 is Classic Monster Man. Memento Morgue, Attack of the Killer Tees, and Death Desserts. I keep wanting to look at the back here. What is going on with this guy? He's all teeth. Can you imagine how much money he must make from the Tooth Fairy? Let's have a look here. So we've got the coroner's report. Bigfoot goes on a primal rage. Uh, body horror. All the different tattoos. And what else we have in here? Different collectibles that you can get. The action figure body bag. Isn't that interesting? This is neat as well. The Charlotte Clark designer maker mug set. And all the mugs stack together to make um, to make a skeleton sleepaway camp light switch plate <laughs> oh I got I chuckle for that uh, the Evil Dead 2 Necronomicon wallet all these ghoulish goodies that you can get for yourself the Genesis of the Living Dead on October 1st 1968 an unknown filmmaker named George A Romero premiered his independent horror film Night of the Living Dead to a stunned audience in Pittsburgh now 50 years later fellow directors John Landis and Joe Dante along with Romero collaborators Ken Foray and Daniel Cross Daniel Cross gather to discuss the importance of one of the most seminal horror films of all time I do believe actually Dating this review back by a week, I believe they had aired on TV The Night of the Living Dead in color. Up to that point, I've always watched it in black and white, but it was a colorized version of the film. Over here, we have Rue Morgue sits down with actors Judith O'Day and Patricia Tallman to re-examine the complicated legacy of Night of the Living Dead's lone female. And let's see what else we have in here. 
I'm not going to, of course, flip through the entire magazine. This is something, of course, you would want to be picking up for yourself. Oh, the ice cream truck. Welcome to the neighborhood. That seems interesting. Gremlin. I'm sure it's not the same gremlin. You can't kill it. You can't escape it. You can only give it to someone you love. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, I'm interested in watching that. The 13th Friday. Okay. And let's see what else we have in here. Well, again, we'll just do a quick flip through here. Because if you if you haven't yet picked this up for yourself, there's Fright Rags. I love the artwork there on Fright Rags. Some of the different unique t-shirts and stuff that you can get. Ben Scrivens at Fright Rags head office and bottom two designs for the upcoming Halloween line of t-shirts. Look at the different t-shirts there. Speaking of uh, like these t-shirts, this is something I think that if Shout Factory ever wanted to get artists to, uh, you know, when they re-release some of their films, whoever's doing the artwork for Fright Rags could really get on board with uh, Scream Factory and do some really amazing artwork. Imagine like if that was the cover for the 78 Halloween or even like this one right here. Awesome artwork. It's a shame it's almost even relegated to a t-shirt because I feel like it's it's missing something by simply just being on a t-shirt. It needs to be on other things as well, like posters and uh, magnets. Certainly on DVD cases, Blu-ray cases. So there is the issue of Rue Morgue. I always like spending some time, and usually a lot of times, after, I feel like I've eaten up an entire afternoon just like looking at this magazine, but that's usually what I'll do like after I shoot the unboxings of these. I sit down with a little glass of whether it be lemonade or, I don't know, juice. <laughs> juice, I don't know. Uh, I like to sit down and read my issue of Rue Morgue. Getting a uh, slowed ourselves down. I, I got so involved and I feel again like I've, I've done this all afternoon. Let's have a look at some of the other stuff that we got in here. So here we have Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. This is rather interesting. They're just sitting out summer afternoon, probably a fall afternoon, I'm guessing, just hanging out together. What would they even discuss? Because neither of them actually say anything. Maybe some grunts, some heavy breathing, I don't know. It's autographed by, uh, I'm guessing, the superghoul.com. That's a fun looking print. I have to see if I can find that and put, put like a frame around that. What else did we get in here? We have the Cameo Creeps, uh, the Great Cthulhu, -y, the Great Cthulhu Old Vaughn by Cameo Creepster. I don't know. I guess it's just artwork. It's a little print that you could put somewhere. And it says original. There's a little original silver sticker that's put down at the bottom there. Cameo Creeps, the monster, tiny monster paintings. You can head over to www.cameocreeps.com. Whoops, <laughs> it just dropped it. Here it is right here. Not dropped it too far that I couldn't reach it. Uh, we also got ourselves a t-shirt. It's Dracula. Rather interesting depiction of Dracula. Kind of looks like something from, I don't know. I don't even have, I, it looks like it only has one leg though. I don't, I'm not sure if this is, it's officially licensed by Bram Stoker Estate, but yet I've never seen this artwork before. There's Dracula up at the top there. A simplistic, not overly complicated t-shirt. I wear that on Halloween. Oh wait, no I can't, no I can't. What am I talking about? I've got a Michael Myers Halloween t-shirt I wanna wear. Here we have the Exorcism of Molly Hartley unrated. Uh, this is the Blu-ray release. We always get like a Blu-ray or movie title inside the, the Rue Morgue box. Uh, the coffin box here has, uh, again, this is The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. I don't think I've ever seen this film or heard of this film. The release date on this, let's have a look here. 2015 was when this was released. Molly Hartley, played by Sarah Lind, or Lind, L-I-N-D. Lind is all grown up, but the unholy demon inside her lives on in this all-new, unrated sequel that takes terror to the next level. So apparently this is a sequel? 
I, didn't, pff, I, never, I didn't even think there was a first one. The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. Well, if this is a sequel, what would have been the original? You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't the original have the exact same name? Unless it's just Molly Hartley. I'm going to have to look that up afterwards. Molly Hartley, played by Sarah Lind, is all grown up, but the unholy demon inside her lives on in this all-new unrated sequel that takes terror to the next level. Six years after graduating high school and discovering that a secret pact assigned her soul to the devil, Molly is suspected of murder and confined to a mental hospital where she wreaks supernatural havoc on the staff and patients. Her only hope is an exorcism by defrocked priest, played by uh, Devon Sawa, who actually kind of looks from here, he looks like the guy who plays Hawkeye. I'm assuming, well, Devon Sawa, I'm assuming, obviously isn't. Looking to redeem himself and save Molly's life before her hideous transformation is complete. But Satan has other plans. Special features include Exorcism Beyond One Truth, the Clovesdale Institute, classified security camera footage, and the Director Diaries. Seems interesting enough. What? The cover's neat. There's the, there's the top of the cover there. Neat. I like that. And what else did we get in here? We got ourselves the Twilight Zone Alicia from Episode 7, The Lonely. I'm trying to remember that episode. Was she a robot? It seems as if she's a robot based on what I'm looking at down below here. And there's the back of it. Ah, uh, yes. Now, this is a collaboration between, uh, of course, Biff Bang Pow. Although, you know what? Wasn't this... I believe this was also tied in with Super 7. Although, I don't see Super 7 anywhere on here. Don't even see it down below either. But there's a whole cast of them. How many are there? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18, 22. Wow, you did that fast. It seems to cover everybody. The Bagpiper. We've got Santa Claus. Anthony Fremont. The Bandaged Patient. I remember that one. And Dr. Bernardi. It was that Beauty is in the Eye of the Beholder. Or was that the name of the episode? Beauty is in the Eye of the Beholder or in the Eye of the Beholder? Good episode. I like that. I didn't really watch a lot of the, the old black and white Twilight Zone. However, I did watch a whole ton of the new Twilight Zone in the 80s when the Twilight Zone came back. As far as I know, we're getting ourselves a new Twilight Zone, which may or may not have already aired. That's the hard part with new TV shows. It's hard to keep track of everything. That's cool. So we got ourselves the Twilight Zone Alicia, little little uh, figurine, very limited articulation. You can see that she just has swivels in her arms, swivels in her legs, and her head rotates. We also got included the Exorcism of Molly Hartley, apparently is a sequel, who knew? Got ourselves a t-shirt, got ourselves two prints, although I really like that photo right there. And I guess the meat and the potatoes of it all is, of course, the Rue Morgue, the 21st anniversary Halloween issue. All seeming to be focused around the original Night of the Living Dead. That is going to be a good read. Looking forward to reading that one. If you guys are interested, let's go ahead and get everything set up. Put that right there, product placement. Everybody, This seems to be like the new thing on YouTube. Everybody sets up something and then they go, okay, yeah, there's, there's the thumbnail. There's a thumbnail. I'm not obviously going to use this as my thumbnail because this will just show you everything that has been included inside. I'd like to keep that as a surprise. don't want to just give away everything. If you guys are interested, though, in subscribing to the Horror Pack Rue Morgue Coffin Box, I'll put the link down below. I don't know still whether this is the September or the October box, but rest assured I'll figure out my stuff by the time this video goes live. I'm pretty good at usually figuring out my stuff. Sometimes not so much, most of the time. Generally, I like to move a little bit, I, th I think personally, closer to knowing my stuff. Either way, I'll figure it out when I post it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. A whole bunch of new videos are going to be coming your way. I seem to be posting content on a regular basis. And even then so, every single day, I seem to be posting like two or three different videos. So there's always a lot of content coming to this channel. If you feel as if, I'm just getting on board. It's not what I'm saying, but what the new subscriber is saying. Let's just call him Glenn. Glenn has just 
jumped on board the review spot train, the locomotive train of reviews. He's like, I don't even know where to start. I've just watched this video. How do I know everything that you've posted? Well, you can go to my homepage, Glenn. You can check out my playlist. That will show you everything that I've done grouped accordingly to that specified topic. And of course, the big one being, if you head over to the main page, you click videos, you can see everything that I've done up to this point. You can, you know, keep really ideally, I think you can just keep scrolling down until the end of time or until when I first started doing videos on YouTube. And you can see all the stuff that I've posted along the way. It's your best bet to guarantee that you haven't missed out on anything along the way. I know people are always promoting, of course, the bell notification, ring-a-ling-a-ling, ring-a-ling-a-ling. But here on this channel, I always like to say your best bet, your 100% guarantee to make sure that you haven't missed out on anything, is heading over to the main page. You don't necessarily have to make that noise. Head over to the main page, check out the video section. Best guarantee. That's the best guarantee money can buy if no money is being transferred from person to person. It's all like virtual money. More videos, guys, will be coming your way. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.